A federal survey found more than 40 percent of bee colonies have died since last summer. Local beekeepers have seen significant loss. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports how modern techniques could be contributing to the loss. Honeybees, they pack a powerful sting, but they also help pollinate nearly 70 percent of our food. They are also dying at a rapid rate. A federal survey says more than 40 percent of honeybee colonies have died since August 2014. Indiana Beekeepers Association representative and local beekeeper Mike Schluttenhofer saw a 60 percent die off. Well, I had eight colonies in the fall, uh, and I had three come out alive at the end of the year. He's not alone. Area beekeepers Brett Cree and Jim Tall were unavailable for on camera interviews, but tell News 18 they lost most of their colonies over the winter. Tall had just one to start the spring. Cree had nine of 11 colonies die. Purdue University entomologist Tom Turpin says several things are coming together to cause the loss. We've got mites, we have uh, certainly have diseases, we have some pesticides, insecticides. The varroa mite is attacking the honeybees. If bees start the winter with the mite, it's hard to survive. Which if you or I had varroa mite, it would be like having a, a baseball on the back side of your hand. So if you have a, a varroa mite like that, you're, you're not in as good a health and you're more susceptible to other uh, influences. Turpin says the same mite is attacking colonies in South America. However, colonies there are increasing. He says farming practices have changed since World War II in the United States. Beekeeping on farms is going down and poisonous insecticides and pesticides are being used more. So what we've done is we've changed the way our agriculture works in this country. We also have cleaned up fence rows with all kinds of, of plants that might serve as pollen and, and nectar sources. The Indiana Beekeepers Association says home gardeners can help save the bee population by not using weed repellent and by planting things like sunflowers, berries and wildflowers which attract bees. Kelly Roberts, News 18.